Hello everyone and welcome back to Steven Plays Skyrim. My name is Steven George, I play video games, today it's Skyrim. I'm not going to be honest with you guys. I've already recorded this episode once, but I recorded using the uh, the new patch that Bethesda gave me. Uh, 1.2, hey my arrow is back. In the, in the 1.2 patch my arrow was gone. Nice to have you back, Arrow. Anyway, um, it was so bad, so bad. I tried to get through the episode the best I could, but uh, the problem was the uh, the frames per second were so low. I couldn't stand it, and even after I recorded it, I watched it, I was like, I can't give this to you guys. I felt bad, so I kind of understand what the events are going to be. I'm not going to be so surprised in this episode. The mountains just screamed at Dovahkiin. So um, I apologize for that. I'm not, I'm not going to be like, oh, goodness, what is this? Because I just did this. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. And what is that? Le a letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Uh, yeah, if you haven't already been able to tell, uh, I have... There we go. Do, 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 do. Where are you, settings? Display... Subtitles. And general subtitles. Alright, there we go. Much better. And some of you are saying, wait, did you re-download the game? Yes! Um, that's how severe this was. <laughs> I re-downloaded downloaded the game to go back to uh, version 1.1. So, I mean, honestly, I couldn't do that to you guys. I really couldn't. I, I played through it. The FPS was, like, running at 15, 20. It would slow down. And this is so much better. So I don't know what Bethesda did in their 1.2 patch. But hopefully it'll be fixed in uh, 1.3. Look, you already have been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, you're lucky I don't toss you in jail. Now get lost. We will be back. This is not over. You there. We're looking for someone in White Run. You will pay good money for information. Who are you looking for? A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in White Rock, so we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Hmm. Who? Uh, why are you looking for this person? It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. I'm walking away. We will find her eventually. Nope. I don't know anything Sorry. about nothing weirdo. I don't know anything about that quest, but it seems to me that it's probably related to some kind of slave trade thing. I know that was in Fallout 3, so I I'm not 100% sure. Good to have you by my side, friend. I need reliable people. Uh, yeah, no problem. I'm here to be reliable. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Yeah, it might suit you to shut up. And that guy reminds me of uh, the other guy in Fallout 3. The, um... We are all children of Atom! That guy. Alright, Yarl. Let's talk. See, this is the first time where I actually get to tell you guys, like, what's gonna happen. Now we're gonna talk to the Yarl, and he's gonna tell us about the Greybeards. Good. You're finally here. The Yarl's been waiting for you. Oh, really? You heard the summons. What else could it mean? So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? Uh, turns out I may be something called Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? Uh, when the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. The Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. Uh, what do these Greybeards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. 
Not since Tybiceptim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, Dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. <sighs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city. Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. So now we have to go see the Greybeards. But first we have to be assigned Lydia. Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. I'm a... Actually, let's ask this. What does a house, Carl, do? As my thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Sworn to my service, eh? Hmm. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm a thane? What does that mean? The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the hold. A hero. The title of thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Hmm. Follow me. I need your help. Lead the way. All right. Now, her name is Lydia, but she is a house Carl, so she will forever be known as Carl. Do you like your name? Huh? Do ya? Do you like your name? Do you like it? I'm gonna poke you with my arrow. Is this uncomfortably close for you? Seems a little awkward, doesn't it? Sorry. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, back to White Run. All right. Now that I have my house Carl by my side, everything will be perfect. I will be able to leap the tallest mountain. Haya! Actually, no, I I can't. Nothing. Nay, worse than nothing. The Imperial machine enforces the will of the Dalmor. Against its own people. Damn, really done listening I to him. It's a shame, isn't it? Tell me about this tree. Also, I think that's the strangest thing ever, because why would I want to know about the tree based on a woman sitting on a bench eating bread? But hey, tell me about the tree. This is the Gilder Green. It was planted as a seedling in the early years of White Run. Disciples of Kinnareth could sense something holy in it, and traveled far to hear the winds of the goddess in its branches. They built the temple. Of course, not as many pilgrims these days. So what's so special about this tree? 
To the east of here is a hidden grove where the Eldergleam resides. It's the oldest living thing in Skyrim, maybe all of Tamriel. Our tree here in the city was grown from a cutting of that tree. You can still feel the glory of the mother tree through it. Even its name is an echo. Is there any way to revive the tree? I've thought about that. Trees like this never really die, they only slumber. I think if we had some of the sap from the parent tree, we could wake up its child. But even if you could get to the Elder Gleam, you couldn't tap it. Not with any normal metal. Hmm. What kind of weapon would work? Elder Gleam is older than metal, from a time before men or elves. To even affect it, you have to tap into the old magic. You'll have to deal with the Hag Ravens. I've heard about the weapon they've made for sacrificing Spriggans. It's called Nettlebane. The hags terrify me, or I would have gone after it myself. Hmm. I'll get Nettlebane for you. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's winds will guide your path. It's held in a Hagraven nest called Orphan Rock. Cool. By Izmir, you did it. You killed the dragon. Yep. I'm awesome. But really, it was Carl here who did all the work. She gave me a shoulder massage right before I went up against the dragon. I work with my mother to sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun most days, but hard work. Who are you talking to? I'm not even... God, these people. Do you get to the cloud district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Everybody wants to talk to me. I work for Bellathor at the general goods store. Good for you, son. There's been talk amongst the guards that you are... Dragonborn, but such a thing, surely that's not possible. Let me quick save, and then I will show you. Okay, so as it turns out, <laughs> they don't like that. Um, I just wanted to make sure, I just wanted to make sure. Uh, quick load is still F8, that's good. So I'm uh, just, uh, just quick load here. <laughs> Oh, it's funny. In a very bad way. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. So earlier when I was quick saving, when I was shouting at everyone else, that was legit. They could have just straight up killed me. Alright, so let's see here. Now I got Lydia. We uh, just want to want to double check here. want to make sure that I am on the way of the voice. We are going to be taking a road. We are currently... Man, we're currently over in Whiterun. And we need to get to the other side of this mountain to speak to the Greybeards. So, dang. And High Hrothgar is technically on the way if we can do it right. Um, Dragon's Reach, we were there. White, right, 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 right. White River Watch. Alright, so earlier... Um, I, I started on my journey whenever my FPS was so bad I could barely play the game. <laughs> and um, I didn't get all that far, so hopefully this time I'll get a lot farther. Lydia has this terrible tendency to teleport to me. It's really, really weird to watch. Like, she won't be around at all, and then suddenly she'll be like, Here I am. And I'll be like, Where were you? What were you doing? Anyway. Oh, I feel bad for this guy. Regain must Oh, sweet butterfly. Gotcha! <laughs> I am Argyle, Master Butterfly Catcher. Oh, man. I, you know what? Even if they release more patches, I I don't know if I'll up, update. Just because uh, when I did update to 1.2, the arrow in my face disappeared. It was like the best part. I mean, I'm Argyle, and that, that's a very distinctive arrow, doggone it. How am I going to Argyle people if I don't have the power of the arrow stuck in my face? Why is that? The heck is this? Hey, friend. It's good to see another merry soul enjoying this. You are so day. drunk. Ah, but you look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. Uh, hunting brew mead? You've never had a taste of sweet hunting brew? Why, it's only the finest mead outside of Sovngarde. Its sweetness is like a fair maiden's kiss on a starry night. 
And it's got enough kick to put a frost troll on his hind quarters. <laughs> but enough talk. Come, won't you share a drink with me and my companions? Um, I would love to share a drink with you. Ah, nothing like fine spirits to help raise your... Well, your spirits. Cheers, my friend. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. Okay, have a have a good one, weirdos. I made out with a free drink. Excellent. It's like a regular Sam's Club right there. I wonder where the other samples are. Anyway, we're on the road right now. Um, this will eventually lead back to um, Riverwood. Hey, there's the little wolf I dealt with earlier. And the way I did it was I just went through Riverwood because, honestly, I was looking up at that mountain and I was like, Dear God, how on earth am I supposed to scale that mountain? And then I decided that I probably wasn't supposed... <sighs> Dang. You just got argyled. But it was so fast that I, I didn't even have time to, like, argyle you. What do you have? Small antlers. Venison. I'm not really interested in anything you have. I'm sorry. Put away this thing and oh. Actually, clairvoyance would probably show me where to go. Although I really enjoy it just exploring on my own. Oh, here we go. Welcome back to Riverwood. Home of like four people. And there they are, all four. You're in a hurry. You Look sickly. So Care to have a drink with me, sweet Sigrid? <laughs> sure, I Drunk am. Again, you got some furs and tree branches? Don't let Alvar hear you talking to me that way. He'll stick your head in his forge. So that's a no, no I take it. Your dog is a frostbite spider, and if they do, they'll kill him. Out of my that's way, not much of a prey. I'm so God, the kids won't shut up. That's terrible. Hey, Feindal! There's beauty here, unmatched in all of Skyrim, to be sure. Hey, I remember you. I don't think Camilla will be spending any more time with Sven. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. 25 gold. Sweet. I can also ask him to follow me. Can I have two companions at once? I'm not sure. Looks like you've already got someone. Apparently not. Good job. Well, whatever. Lydia's, Lydia's cool. Sort of. Okay, like, come on, Carl. Let's get it on. I mean, I don't mean get it on. I mean, like, go... You know what I mean. Come on. This is the direction in which I will go. Because it is up into the snow. And further and further and further we'll go. I already used the word go. Crap, that's the, that's the third time. Upwards and onwards. We're just going to keep traveling up until we can't go up anymore. Because that's, you know, the basic direction of stuff. Uh, let's... No, that's not what I want. I want my sword. Doggone it, favorites menu. I don't know why I keep undoing the sword, and it's really confusing to me, but it keeps happening. So I want sword and flames. There we go. So you draw your stuff too, like there's a fight. There's not actually a fight, but I like to have that ready. Um, I've read you guys' comments. I always read your, the comments right before I record a video, so I'm well aware of what I need to be on the lookout for. And, um, you guys have already made it very clear. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my goodness, little snow fox. No! Oh, little snow fox! Oh, toasted fox! Hey there, buddy. Um, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna take it just because I feel like I deserved it. Uh, I'm gonna go this way, see what's up this path. Yeah, I, I read your comments, and you guys made it very clear that I should, um be using flames because fire is more effective than lightning and I was cool with that I mean it's not like I had a a thing for oh hey am I detected I don't think I'm fully detected right now it's just mostly detected what if I scoot back can they see me any less what if I hide behind this tree Ooh, now I'm hidden oh oh no don't look at me. Oh, don't look at me. Screw it. I'm going to shoot you in the face. 
You didn't like that very much, did you? Oh, you got shot! You're trying to shoot the Argyle. Were you aware that you're trying to shoot the Argyle? Oh, sh oh my god! Did that land, like, right in his face? Um, looks like it went through his armor, but whatever. That's that's good enough for me. I'm, I'm pleased with this. Whoosh. Uh, longbow. Let's take your gold, and let's take your... Hmm. Your arrows. I uh, don't care much about your dagger. And where'd the other guy go? Ha <laughs> that sucks. I feel kind of bad for you. But not, not, not really. Alright, coin purse, coin purse. And a chest. Gold, potion. Uh, time between shouts is reduced by 20%. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. And a book. Block has increased to 16. I'll take the book. The book's worth 50 bucks. Uh, anything else worth doing over here? Not that I can see. Back on the road. Or back climbing this mountain. Good. Come along, Carl. 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 When I say Carl over and over, it reminds me of um, the uh, I don't remember what's called. It's something with llamas. It's it's here on YouTube. It's uh, these llamas and one of them's deranged and his name's Carl. Anyway, uh, that's actually going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you haven't done so already, highly consider subscribing to Steven Play's new video game episode every single day. And uh, I gotta admit, it was it was kind of a hassle to redo this a second time, but uh, it was it was worth it just for the fact that it was it was not presentable. It wasn't my usual quality, so I'm I'm really glad I redid this. And I actually did a few things that I didn't uh, run into the first time. I guess I can't. Oh oh oh! There we go. Gotcha. So um, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna continue up this path. And um, join me next time when we will run into the Greybeards. I have no idea what to expect, but I have a feeling it's going to be fun.